Hey, all you potential Bobcats. Welcome to Frostburg State University. My name is Bobby, and I'm an admissions counselor here at Frostburg. Frostburg understands the ongoing landscape change that students and potential students are using to visit, view, and research colleges from a virtual world. Therefore, I'll be taking you on a campus tour today from my point of view as if you were to be here in person. We also suggest that if you'd like to see our campus in person, that you sign up for a in-person on-campus tour via our website. That information will be at the end of this video. Let's go check it out. Before we head down onto campus, let's check out all the other things that Pullen Hall has to offer you. This is the Career and Professional Development Office. The staff in this office are here to help you with cover letter and resume reviews, national student exchange, professional pathways, career pathways, and everything else that you need to become a professional. It's a great tool to be utilized here at Frostburg. This is the Admission and Financial Aid offices here in Pullen Hall. This place is where you'll take care of all your financial aid and admission needs. It's also where I work. We're outside one of our on-campus tutoring centers. They are located throughout the campus. Here's what one looks like. It's a great environment to come in and use anytime. Also another good tool to use here at Frostburg. I'm standing now in front of the Programs for Advancing Student Success and Disability Support Services Information Office. It's a great tool to be utilized on campus. It's across from our Student Support Services Office. Let's walk over and check out the registrar. Behind me is the registrar's office. This is where you will sign up and pick your classes. The last stop before we leave Pullen Hall is the billing office. This is where you'll take care of all your student billing needs. When you leave Pullen Hall at the top of campus, you will find yourself looking at a beautiful site. In the summer, it's warm. In the winter, it's cool. And in the fall, beautiful leaves. The on-campus buildings as you leave Pullen Hall at the top of campus are the Performing Arts Center, which is behind me, and a great view of our campus that we're now about to walk down to. As we walk down to the main part of campus, you'll notice over there on the left, the massive science center that Frostburg State is putting up. It is second to none across the state. As we get closer to the center or heart of Frostburg State's campus, you will realize its size and amenities at this point. So as we've made our way down from Pullen and we're under the clock tower, you'll be able to see the heart of Frostburg State's campus and notice its sheer size. You'll be able to see the Compton Science Center, the planetarium and science buildings, the workout areas, and all the other amenities that Frostburg State has to offer. Here's our Lane Center, let's go check it out. As we walk down to the Lane Center, we will walk by the University Bookstore. That's where we get all of our Bobcat merch. As we walk into the Lane Center, you'll see the entrance to the Bobcat Bookstore. This is a great area for students to hang out and see what's going on on campus. Once we've walked into Lane, you will find that this is where our assembly hall is. It is also where the game room and retro gaming area is located. Let's go to the assembly hall and check out what's going on. All right, let's get out of here and head up to the top of the lane. This area is where the pool table is and the foosball table. It's a really cool little hangout in between classes. Here's our gaming stations from new to retro. <laughs> At the top of the lane center, this is a great area where there's usually organizations, extracurriculars, and social events. Let's take a look at a little bit about what this table is. Hello, we're Visual Couture Modeling. Um, we are a modeling team here on campus and we focus on runway and print modeling. Um, right now we have a table for Valentine's Day coming up for our fundraiser, um, Candy Grams for students and anyone that wants to place an order. And we also do have workshops and tryouts coming out. Workshops gives an overview of our organization as well as what we're looking for for tryouts when they're coming. Um, we have a lot of performances, shows during the semester, so just keep a lookout. Awesome, thank you. Who needs a Starbucks? I know I do. This is a great area to take a break, eat some lunch, and socialize with your friends. Let's take a look at some of the choices if you want to switch it up from the dining hall. 
Here's our sushi bar. You can get pre-made sushi or a custom roll. Milkshakes, Chick-fil-A, the Daily Press, all your drink choices. There's a cold grab over there. We also have the Make Your Own Pasta Bowl. Grill Nation. We have Moe's, which is over there. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Let's take a little walk over there and check it out. It's a great choice if you want to switch it up from the dining hall. We have a lot of great food choices here at Frostburg. It makes one of your experiences very easy. After I refill with a cheddar broccoli soup from the soup station, we're going to get on our way. After that refuel, let's take a little walk out of the back of Lane and head down onto campus. After leaving the back side of Lane and walking back to the heart of campus, we're going to take a little trip up and check out one of the classrooms. Make sure we say hi to the Bobcat on the way by. As we walk into the bottom of the Science Center, you'll notice the Natural History Museum. Make sure you stop in when you're on campus and check it out. It's awesome. On the bottom of the Science Center, you'll see the swinging pendulum. Let's take a look inside one of the classrooms. We poked into a classroom right before class is getting ready to start. This is what an average classroom looks like. And what would you guys say an average classroom size is? It's pretty small, maybe 20-ish people, not too bad. You guys like that feel? Yeah, it's good. It makes you connect more to the professor, build relationships more. Awesome. All right. There you have it. This was 100% on stage. Just walked in and started talking to him. Out of the back of the Confident Science Center, you can see the upper quad, Old Main, and a lot of the buildings that you'll be having your classes in. Let's walk back to the front of the Confident Science Center and take a look at the heart of our campus from a different viewpoint. Let's take a look at the heart of our campus from a little bit of a different viewpoint. Pretty awesome. After leaving the Science Center, we're going to walk down to the bottom of campus, passing the athletic fields and checking out the residency life halls. On our way down to pass the athletic fields, you will pass the Fine Arts Building, the Roper Gallery, and Frostburg State's Library. We've made our way back around. There's the back of the Lane Center. When you leave the back of the Lane Center, you make a left and we'll cut through the back of the library lot. You may be wondering what these circles are that I'm walking on. That is heated concrete. So in the wintertime when it snows, we turn those on, snow goes away. As we come out behind the library, this is a great area in the late summer and early fall to hang out. There will be a lot of picnic tables out here and a lot of socializing. This is a great view or a great place to catch a Frostburg State Bobcat baseball game. Let's take a walk down and look at the housing. Before we stop at housing, I would like to point out that Frostburg State is doing its part to go green. On campus, you will see these. They are solar powered, 100% self-sustaining benches. In the front, you will see USB ports to charge in between classes. On the bottom of campus, in front of our residency life halls, you will notice the Allegheny County Public Transport Pickup Area. This is a great service that takes students off campus when they need to go places. On our left, you will notice Chesapeake Dining Hall, the all-inclusive buffet-style dining facility. Chesapeake is conveniently located across from the residency life housing for easy access. On the back side of Chesapeake Dining Hall is also the Chesapeake Market. It's a great place that if you just need something little or want to get a snack, to go in and grab. Let's make our way over to Brownsville. Let's go in and take a look. As you walk in, you'll need a swipe to get in. Let's go check it out. As we come in to a common hangout, this is a great place to socialize and meet some friends. There's also a fully functional kitchen and a multi-purpose study room. These are all great places to utilize for your social and study events. On our way back to the room, let's check the other amenities that Res Life offers. Here's an open study quiet room. All of these rooms are available anytime and all have a whiteboard that you can use at any time. In case I forgot to mention, laundry is included. Let's go take a look at one of our rooms. This is a double. As you walk in, you walk into a single bedroom. 
joined to another bedroom. They share a common bath. With individualized control heat and air, this is a very comfortable living environment. All right, let's walk back out and make our way over to the athletic area. All right, let's head out the back and over by the athletic fields. As we walk past Bobcat Stadium, you can see the baseball team getting some spring training in. As we make our way past the back of Bobcat Stadium, you will see Cords, our gymnasium. Let's go up there and check it out. In about two weeks, the snow will be gone off of these tennis courts, and it's a great area to come play outdoor tennis, pickleball, or shoot some hoops. As we walk up to the front of the Cords Center, we'll walk in and see our gymnasium and all the amenities that the Cords Center has to offer. As we walk in, we'll take a look at Bob Katarina. As we look in, we see some members of the basketball team getting up some in-between class shots. As we leave the gym, let's walk over and check out the rock climbing wall. It's a really good place to hang out, meet some friends, and relieve some stress. Open to the staff, faculty, and students, Frostburg State Swimming Pool. Here's a good view overlooking one of our auxiliary gyms. Come in. Practice your game, shoot some hoops, or just hang out. The other auxiliary gym has archery, a golf net, hockey nets, and batting cages. Well, we made it back where we started. That was just a little look at Frostburg State University's campus. Let's go into my office and take a look at the website. It's very user-friendly, and I'll walk you through it. Let's go. Welcome to Frostburg State's University webpage, www.frostburg.edu. It is an extremely easy to navigate webpage with mainline tabs located at the top and middle of the webpage. If you see a keyword or want to look for something that you don't see with your eyes, you can always use the search bar. Simply type in a keyword and hit the magnifying glass. You will get search results from Frostburg State's webpage. The first page I recommend clicking is the Why FSU tab. This tab will be able to tell you about FSU, why to choose it, rankings, affordability, and many other options that you didn't see along your tour. Definitely give it a check. The next tab I will click on is the Academic Programs tab. This will allow you to see if Frostburg has your field of study. It has a list of all of our majors and programs, the colleges and departments, and the graduate programs, as well as class catalogs and the academic calendar. It's a great way to explore your educational pathways. The tab I would click on is the Admissions and Cost tab. Frostburg State does its due diligence in keeping admission and cost low while the experience and quality of an education as high as possible. Scroll down to the Tuition and Fees. We'll redirect you to this page. Scroll down and click Undergraduate Tuition and Fees. Scroll down again. There it is. This display will show you if you're a Maryland resident getting in-state tuition while living on campus, your out the door taxes and fees included for under $20,000 a year. That's without help from FAFSA, academic money, athletic money, grants, or scholarships. Remember, our scholarships start out at a 3.2 GPA, and the higher your GPA, the more money you will get. You will not get a number this low with the experience of the faculty, the amenities of the university, and the quality of education anywhere else. Frostburg is a great choice for return of investment. Back at the home page, let me show you where the financial aid tab is. Click admissions and cost, and then click financial aid. It will redirect you to this page. Scroll down and you will be able to see clickable tabs, types of aid, how to apply, loan information, and scholarships. If you scroll down again, you will find the information to be in touch with the financial aid office and a standalone clickable button to apply for financial aid. Also, at the bottom of this page and the main page, you will find three tabs. Let's jump back to the main page and see what they look like from there.
Once you've determined that Frostburg State is right for you or you think you'd like to apply, scroll down and click the Apply Online button. I recommend doing this as soon as possible to speed up your application process. The middle tab is a Request More Info button, and the tab on the right is to schedule an in-person visit so that you can see Frostburg and all that it has to offer. After this screen grab, I'm going to display a screen that will have a live link to a weekly Microsoft Teams Q&A that will be held by myself and the other admissions counselors. If you'd like to sign up for that, you can do so by clicking the link. In that Q&A session, we will also be providing application waiver fees for those who attend. So definitely stop in and check it out. If you would like additional information or to speak to an admissions counselor, you may always call the university. You can also go to the admission and cost tab and click it. Scroll down to visit FSU, then scroll down to connect with us. You will see a drop down with our staff. If you click that and scroll down, you will see myself and the other admissions counselors. From this page, you may email us directly or book a virtual appointment. I hope that I've been able to answer all of your Frostburg needs questions. And if you need anything else, do not hesitate to reach out and give us a call. I hope to see you on campus very soon. Go Bobcats!